Hey, it's Jay Allen from Mornings with Rebecca and Burns on 90.9 KCBI. I know that we all like some sort of movie, whether that's scary movies or it's, you know, romantic films like Don Burns. You know, he just really loves the chick flicks. Um, <laughs> and so one thing that we really love about movies is the, the middle part. You know, you, you, you hear the intro of the story, you hear the conflict. The person goes through something that shapes them for the rest of their life, and then it ends. Usually good ending. You know, if you're into scary movies, that may not be the case. But I wanted to uh, talk to you in the, in the lens of how we view scripture and how we view our lives. Because it can feel like what we are going through around us, we're losing. We are, we are losing this world. We are losing everything. And I want you to f look through the lens of what scripture says. Because 1 John 4.4 4 reminds us, you are from God, little children. And you have conquered them. Because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. I love 2 Thessalonians um, because there's a passage that talks about when Jesus sees the enemy, he will blow him away with the breath of his lungs. Just a little blow. You see, a lot of people think that Jesus and the, the devil or, or, you know, good and evil are rivals. They are not. God is far more superior. It is not, it's not even a fight. God is far more superior. He blows them away just with the breath of and I just want to encourage you that while the world never is, we're, we're never promised that we're going to have no problems. John 16, tells us, you know, we will have trials in this world. Take heart. I have overcome the world. So when we watch movies, we love them because we know the ending. We love watching them and we can never watch it the same the second time because we already know what happens. And in the same way, when we're reading scripture, we're going through life. I want you to see it the same way. That while it can be dark sometimes, it can be encouraging sometimes, it can be hard to understand sometimes, we know the ending. We win, Jesus wins, and that should provide the joy that we have in our world. And that should be sticking out to the world around us. Why are we joyful? Because Christ has won the battle.